Hi folks, it's Chef Kevin. I'm going to be making a rather fancy and unusual hors d'oeuvre. This is going to be deviled quailed eggs. Let me show you the ingredients. These are hard boiled quail eggs. I'll reference that at the end of the video, how to make them. Mayonnaise, Coleman's mustard. If you're not familiar with Coleman's mustard, this is made in England, and it's a fairly, fairly hot mustard. Got a nice little punch to it. You can always, if you don't like hot mustard, you can go with grape Poupon Dijon, and you can actually use mustard from your local Chinese food works just as well. I have some tiny shrimp, bumblebee tiny shrimp. That's the garnish. And I also have some cayenne pepper as well. So watch how I do this. Okay, so this is just a little demo. So I'm not going to make a whole bunch. Trying to cut these in half as perfectly as I can. Now you'll notice that the the yolk is in the center of the egg. I hope you can see that, and that was not an accident. If you look at my videos, you'll see how, how I did that and why I did that is because I wanted the yolk to be in the center to make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Okay, I'm going to pop the yolk out. This is actually an oyster knife, but it seems to work well. When you're making hors d'oeuvres that are this small, it's nice to have small tools. Okay, so we got six, eight, ten. Give you one more. <laughs> Okay, that's five eggs. It's just a little demo. Okay. The mayonnaise. Oops. Oopsie daisy. I got five eggs here. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of mayonnaise. And about the same on the mustard. Get a little salt in that.
These would be great if you're having a little cocktail party. You want to impress your friends. Okay, I got a whisk here and just basically going to mix it all together so it's nice and mixed well it's going to be homogenic Good enough. That was my baby whisk, by the way. Like I said, when you're doing small hors d'oeuvres, it's nice to have small tools. And speaking of small tools, I have this device here, which works similar to a piping bag. And this will I'll use this to dispense the egg back into the shell. Most piping bags don't have a nozzle that you would that you could use for such a small thing. It's a little messy, but not too bad. Okay. Do this one a little close up for you. The nozzle gives it a, uh, a rather pretty decoration. If you don't have a nozzle, I'm sorry, if you don't have a dispensing tool like this, you can just use a a paper, sorry, a plastic bag and cut the corner out. You won't get quite, quite the uh, artistic look, but it'll still taste the same. You get the idea? Alright, and now I'm going to take a shrimp and place it right on top of the egg. Hopefully you can see that. Bring in here a bit. Okay. 
Okay. I'm now going to take a little cayenne pepper powder. And sprinkle it over the top of it. Make it look pretty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish these off and plate them. And you can take a look at that. And there they are folks ready to be served. Quail eggs deviled. Now this is just about the perfect size for an hors d'oeuvre and I'll explain why. Okay, hors d'oeuvres are usually eaten in one or two bites. Now the reason for that is because they're usually served at a cocktail party and you're usually holding a drink in one hand and you have your nice heels on, you have a nice suit on and you don't want to have a huge piece of appetizer because then you're going to end up ruining your clothing, your makeup and all that so appetizers are supposed to be dainty and these can be eaten in one bite so it's the perfect size so I hope you enjoyed my video I'll see you later